Hi guys, Tommy Metz for 322 Sport, dedicated to following York City FC, Minster Bells and development teams. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Minster Bells game against Stockport County. First of all, I'll just mention that we lost two of our previous three games. Our only win in these last three games was against uh, Middlesbrough. 4-1 result we won on the 5th of Feb. Um, today's game is, was played at York St John's Sports Complex. Attendance wise, I didn't have an official figure, but I counted about 40 heads, you know, so which I thought was quite good. Um, yeah, the weather was dry, a bit overcast, and it was very cold. It wasn't too bad when I got there, but as I as it went on, sat, sat there, it got a bit cold, yeah. Today's players were. In goal, we had new signing Jody Attard. We had Abby Parkin, Jess Holder, Ali Shoes, Carly Smith, Emily, Emily Cattle, uh, who returned to the team. Shahad Castle, the captain, Nikki Brown. Liz Jones, Holly Finley, and finally Millie Ash, with Eve Harriet, Anna Bowman, Rosie Bell, and Annabelle Watson named on the bench. After four minutes, uh, Attard was called into action, putting the ball out for a corner. Um, dared a strike wide on 16 minutes. Um, a few minutes later, two, of their, two players went down, both physios came on, but eventually the uh, players got up and played on. Yeah, nearly half an hour in, I saw Steph, Steph get a notebook out and make some notes. So obviously, you know, writing the thoughts down, seeing what, see what they're getting on with. Yeah. Um, at this point, we were getting a bit better. Um, we've been on back foot a bit for a while, so yeah, it was good to get a bit of a foothold in the game again. 35 minutes, then we haven't got all called over to by the ref. Not sure what he was saying, but yeah, he didn't sound happy. So yeah. On 43 minutes, we had a good cross into the box, but Abby Parkin headed straight at their, their keeper. So, half time, 0 0. It's been a pretty even test so far. Both teams have efforts and goal. We looked a bit shy at times, and they seemed to get quite physical. I think they were trying to bully our ladies into mistakes. So, guys, second half. We made one change at the half time Emily Cattle coming off for Eve Harriet coming on. On 47 minutes, Fliss Jones had a shot saved by their keeper. And on 50 minutes, Nikki Brown was shown a yellow card for a foul. So be careful there, she's already on she's one yellow card now. So. A minute later, Stockport scored their first goal of the game. Jordi went for the ball, missed it, and they literally had a tap in, so that made it 1 0. Score of that Stockport goal Brown, play Rubin, yellow carded a minute earlier. Should have been a red. Tommy, do you think my chin looks fat today? Straight from the kickoff, they actually went for it again, but this time Jordy actually held on to the ball, which was good. So yeah. On 54 minutes, Jets hold out a shot, but that was saved easily by their keeper with not much power on it, to be honest. So yeah, on to 63 minutes, and um, yeah, we made another substitution. Um, Annabelle Watson making a debut, Quinn on for Holly Findlay. Let's go, let's go, Annabelle Watson. So the captain Nicky Brown nearly found the bottom corner with a shot on 75 minutes. But uh, yeah. Yeah, near, near the end of the game, looked like their keeper maybe got a yellow card or something, but I, I, it's not been it's not anywhere, I've not been able to find it anywhere. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm sure she got a yellow. So yeah. I think what actually happened, Tommy, was the keeper got injured, so the keeper had to come off but they didn't have a substitute, a replacement keeper on the bench for her. So the girl who scored Brown, she went in goal for Stockport for the rest of the game. Yeah, on 18 minutes, uh, Stockport scored again to make it 2-0. A few balls to their player. Shot and bottom out in corner from and Murphy was the score, goal scorer. Not going to lie, Murphy looks like a good player. Wouldn't mind seeing her in a York City shirt. A minute late on the 81 minutes, we made our third and final substitution. Fliss Jones coming on for the Anna Bowman. Come on, Fliss, get at him. And Murphy had a shot wide for um, Stockport in the 91st minute. So full time 2 0 to uh, Stockport. Mm. 
they were good going forward, but I think both goals were at our fault. You know, we shouldn't have given away like that, to be honest. And I said that later on in the game as well. They weren't giving us time on the ball. There were, there were three or four players around just all going straight for the ball and winning it every time. And yeah, it was, it was just a, it, was, it was quite hard at the end. But it was good to hear Stefan and the other coach and that shouting a lot and getting passionate. But it was good to know. So yeah, what's your thoughts, bro? I mean, we were creating the chances, but another bad performance in front of goal. Well, that's a uh, that's. Five league losses in a row for the men's spells. Uh, I think Stockport asked us some questions today. They were being physical, showing a lot more energy and maybe a bit more spirit, team spirit and commitment. I thought we were sloppy in front of goal. We squandered chances like we did at the stadium against Hull as well. Uh, I don't know. It's getting tough at the minute, you know. We're not getting out the NCL anytime soon, the way we're playing. Let's be honest. Hi guys, Tommy Metz for 3 to 2 Sport. Just want a quick update on the development team. They were playing um, away today at North Allerton Town, which is today, obviously, Sunday the 5th of uh, March. Yeah. So, good good news, yeah. We were feeding up at half time. We finished uh, at 5 0. So, yeah, it was a really good good result again for us, you know. We'll be got a hat trick and goals from Georgia and Beck as well. So hopefully you know, they may be getting the first, the first team soon. That'll be good. But yeah, thanks. Cheers. Three, two, one.